Hey guys, it's Roy here from our local 12 and EpicDroid.com, and today I'm here to show you guys how to get the Google Play Store on the Kindle Fire tablet. Now this trick should work on everything from the 5th, 6th, and 7th generations of the Kindle Fire tablets. They all use basically the same software, and so it should work on all of them. However, I've only been able to test it on the Kindle Fire 7-inch tablet, and this is the 8 gig version. One of the things I love about the Kindle Fire tablets and about Amazon is that they're almost always on sale. They list it for $50. I got this one for, I think it was $25. Today they're on sale for $40. I mean, I've seen them all over the place. And so it's a great deal and it's a great easy tablet that you can get for your kids, that you can get for uh, your wife if you want it just for a disposable tablet that you can have. It's a great option for all of those. But because it only comes with Amazon apps on here, it's really limited in what you can do with it. But there's a quick and easy way you can get the Google Play Store on there and that you can open up that entire app catalog and have access to do a lot more things. So there's two things that you have to have in order to be able to make this work. The first thing is you have to have a file explorer. If you don't have a file explorer, this will not work. I personally recommend Root Explorer. It is a paid app, and so you can get that from the Amazon App Store. I highly recommend it. If you don't want to pay for it, there are several other options available in the App Store. Any of the free ones should work. However, this is the one that I prefer for just about everything. The second option, the second requirement is in settings, and you need to go to security, and then you need to enable this option that's apps from unknown sources. Basically, what that means is that you're opening your device up for the possibility of being compromised. Uh, you can install apps on there that aren't necessarily safe. If you guys have worked with me before, you know you can trust me. I've just taken these backups directly from one of my Android devices, and so they are safe. They are apps that I have on my website, and you can get them there. I'll have a link to it in the video description. But what you're going to do is you're just going to go to Arwelco 12's Android repository. There's going to be links. I even numbered them for you. So one, two, three, four. That's the order that you have to install them in. Now I have them downloaded here on my tablet. So we're going to install them in order. So first one is the Google Account Manager. So we're going to hit install. Once it's done, we hit done. Do the same thing with the Google Services Framework. Then done. Then the Google Play Services. Then hit done. And then the Google Play Store. And then hit install. Next, install. And rather than hitting open, we're going to hit done. The Play Store is installed, but there's one more step that we have to do. And that is that we have to reboot the tablet. So we're going to power it off and power it back on. So once that's booted up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unlock the device. And there is the Play Store. Now the first time you open it, it'll probably take a couple of seconds to open. It's going to check your info, make sure the tablet's compatible, that you're not already logged in and all that other fun stuff. And then you get to log in. So after you're all done signing in, you have full access to the Google Play Store. You can download, you can install anything that you want. As long as the tablet meets the specs that are required, you can go ahead and you can install just about anything. So all you got to do is just uh, accept the downloads like you normally would, hit that install button, and then you're good to play. So if you guys have any questions about this process or about the Kindle tablet in general, please feel free to hit us up in the comments section down below. If this video has been helpful to you, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And as always, just want to tell you guys thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.